Hi guys, welcome to this new video of Joey's Tech in which we are going to solve the subset sum problem using dynamic programming. Subset sum problem is one of the most common problems asked in the interviews of some of the big tech giants. Before we proceed to the problem, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of the videos of dynamic programming. Now let's move to the problem. So here is our problem. So given a sum 9 and a series of integers like here 3, 34, 4, 12, 5 and 2, we need to find if there exists a subset using which 9 can be formed. So as you can see that there exists a subset which comprises of 4 and 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. So we are going to solve this problem using dynamic programming. So let's move to the solution. So this is the setup of our solution. We are going to find whether exists a subset which forms 9 and uh, our answer will be there in this cell. Let me highlight this cell for you. So our answer will be in the last cell which has been highlighted in yellow. Now let me tell you a secret, always try to find pillars while solving a problem. So in this problem there existed two pillars and these two pillars are going to form the columns and the rows of the matrix. So the first pillar is the sum, each step to 9 forms the columns of the matrix and each integer that means the series of integer over here is another pillar and each integer forms the row of the matrix as you can see over here the first column is filled with trues these are trues because our solution is going to be either true or false because we need to find it whether it exists or not and the first row, which is the 0th row, has been filled with false. Why? You are going to see it in a moment. Now let's begin solving it. Let's begin filling up this matrix. So now here we start with this row and this column. Now 1 is the sum and the first integer is 3. Can 1 be formed using 3? No way. That means it has to be false. From where this false is coming? It's coming from the 0th state. From here. Now, can 2 be formed using 3? No. So from where uh, the false is going to come? It's going to come from the cell above. From here. So it's going to be false. Remember, that we are taking values from this cell which represents the sub problem of the 0th state and that is why we have put false over here. So we are taking values from here right now. Can 3 be formed using 3? Yes, we can show if the sum is 3 and if there is one integer, we are given one integer which is 3, we can surely form 3. So it has to be true. Now how true is going to be populated over here because uh, in, in, in previous cells we were uh, taking values from uh, the cell above and the cell above the value in the cell above is false but we need true here so how we are going to bring true here so what we are going to do uh, we have the integer as 3 we are going to subtract this 3 from this 3 so we are going to move three steps back from here and this is going to take us to this cell which represents again the optimized solution of the 0th state. So this is the result of one of our sub problems and we are going to do our operation on this cell's value and also this cell's value. We also need to consider this cell's value. Why? 
you are going to see it in a bit so true or false it's going to be true all right let's move ahead so we have 4 what i'm going to do i'm going to subtract a 3 from this 4 this is going to take me 3 steps back i have false here and i have false here so it's going to be false similarly all of all these subsequent cells in this row are going to be false let me populate that right away now the next integer is 34 now if you have noticed that we did that going back thing when this integer was either equal to or less than these sums listed over here so let's look at 34 when 34 when we compare 34 with uh, these uh, steps of the sum with these individual sums none of these sums are going to ever exceed, exceed 34 so we are going to directly populate the value in these cells from their respective cells above so here the value is going to come from here that means we are not going to do that going back thing it's going to be false and it's going to be true it's going to be false it's going to be false 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 so let's look at this cell so if the sum is 3 and if we have two integers 3 and 34 then does there exist a subset yes there exists a subset which is number 3 so that is why it has been populated as true so at any point of time at any cell uh, if we look at uh, the sub problem it is always going to offer the optimized solution this is the beauty of solving problems using dynamic programming now we move to 4 now 1 is less than 4 so we are going to bring the value from the cell above from here then this is also going to be f this is going to be true over here since this is equal to 4 so we are going to go 4 steps behind this is true or this false we are going to get true now same over here we are going to go 4 steps behind this false or this false it's going to be false then 4 again false false this is going to be false take a look over here this false and we go 4 steps back we are getting true so this true and this false we are going to get true so let me expand this problem a little this cell represents the solution of if the sum is 7 and the integers are 3 and 34 so no way it's it's false now it is obvious that there doesn't exist any subset which is forming 7 when we are given these two integers and we are also going here so this is another sub problem in which the sum is 3 and this is 3 and 34 but in this 4 is not involved in this we are going to involve 4 so I am going to put 4 over here when this 4 is added to 3 we get 7 and when this was true so we are going to pick true from here and we are going to place it over here so this is what we are doing so this is one sub problem in which 4 is involved and uh, we are going 4 steps back because 4 subtracted from 7 is 3 so we are looking at the optimized solution of 3 and this is another sub problem in which 4 is not involved so always try to find those two sub problems 
of any dynamic pro uh, programming problem and uh, things will be very quick and easy for you if you are able to identify the sub problems now over here four steps back uh, it's going to be false this is going to be false as well now 12 is uh, not less than any of these individual sums so we are going to just copy the cell values from the top Now check here, we are at 5, this is going to be false, copy it from above, this is false, this is true, this is true, over here we are going to go 5 steps back, true or false, it's going to be true, we are going to get 6 minus 5, 1, false, 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 then over here we are going to get see this this is true five steps back we get false false and false or true it becomes true then eight five minus eight minus five is true true or false this also becomes true and nine minus five is four so true false now this is going to be false this two steps back true or false it's going to be true this is going to be true right away because we have true over here this is going to be again true then uh, true or true it's going to be true then uh, two subtracted from six this is false or true this is true so we are going to get true 7 this is already true 2 subtracted from 7 is going to take us to 5 true or true this is true and uh, similarly these two are going to be trues so yes there exists a subset which is going to form 9 when we are given integers 3 34 4 12 5 and 2 now let's backtrace and find out which exactly are the integers forming the sum 9 so we are going to start right from this last cell we are going to go above over here and uh, because this true is coming from here obviously so i am going to highlight it now this true is not coming from here so where it is coming from it is coming from here because 9 minus 5 was 4 so from here only this true came this true or false true remember and uh, so I'm going to highlight this and this is how 5 becomes our first integer from the back I'm going to highlight this path also now this true is coming from here so I'm going to move ahead in the path now this true is not coming from here it is coming from here so once we have reached to zero our search ends and let me lay down the path for you so this is the path 4 becomes our next integer so 4 plus 5 is 9 and thus we have been able to solve the subset sum problem using dynamic program so this is the algorithm this is the algorithm so if uh, j is less than s i minus 1 so s is the set of integers then m i j which is the matrix equals to m i minus 1 and j that that means the value from the top and uh, when it is equal to or uh, uh, greater than s i minus 1 then m i j is going to be the or operation of the value from the top and the going back value that means m i minus 1 j minus s i minus 1 the time complexity of this solution is o within braces sum into n so i hope you enjoyed watching this video 
of uh, subset sum problem i recommend that you practice this problem over and over because every time you practice it you are going to learn a new aspect of uh, solving problems through dynamic programming uh, thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video of joystick thank you